The Klang Valley. Some 9 million people live here. And more migrated to this populous and prospering valley each year. As population grows, residents converge on this vast area, as traffic congestion grows too. There are more cars on the road, and traditional public transport becomes more strained. As early as 2010, Malaysian federal government began addressing this concern by the MRT Sungai Bulo to Ka Jang Line. A 51-kilometer line, running through its 31 stations that passes through the most populated area of the valley. And now, more parts of the Klang Valley will further be linked, for greater convenience and connectivity. Through Sungai Bulo via Serdang, to Putrajaya Line, or MRT SSP Line. It will add the country's rail road network by 52.2 kilometers, that passes through its 37 stations, strategically located for even greater connectivity to the densely populated areas of the valley. Connecting, Sungai Bulo, Kapong, Batu, Sentul West, Kampung Baru, KLCC, Bandar Malaysia, Jalan Klang Lama, Kuchai Lama, Sungai Besi, Sri Pedaling, Serdang, Cyberjaya, and Putrajaya. MRT Putrajaya Line will connect with other urban railway system, expanding the urban rail footprint. Meaning more convenient and efficient connectivity, with interchanges with KMT commuters, LRT, Monorail and the MRT SPK of Line 1. It will even connect to the future East Coast Rail Link in Putrajaya interchanges. Putrajaya, Malaysia's buzzling ultra-modern administrative center, will now be 30 minutes away from the capital, via the MRT SSP Line. The line will feature park and ride facilities in selected stations, and it will use the same ticketing system across different railway mode for ultimate hassle-free connectivity. The line is handicap-friendly facilities to cater the needs of every commuter. The train set can accommodate up to 1,200 passengers at any given time. On a daily basis, it will accommodate 533,000 passengers once completed. In effect, it will potentially lessen 176,000 cars on the road. As of October this year, the first phase of the MRT Putrajaya line stretches from the Quasa de Mansara to the Kampung Batu for a total of 12 stations, was 99.9% .9 completed. And it was announced that phase 1 was expected to begin operation last month. However, as communicated by Mass Rapid Transit Corporation, the line is expected to start commercial operation by March 2022. Trial operations of the line had started since the 29th of April this year, with a total of 16 trains in full service mode daily but without passengers to simulate actual operations. Final detailed inspection and system performance demonstration have been ongoing during the trial but they have not yet been completed. Meanwhile, Phase 2, which runs from the Kentonmen Station to Putrajaya Central Station, is 93.52% completed and is expected to begin operations in January 2023. The approved 52.2 km rail alignment, on which 13.5 km is underground. The underground line stretches particularly in Jalan Toon Razak and Kuala Lumpur city center, to avoid disruption of in-ground traffics. Out of the 37 stations, 11 of which will be underground. In 2019, several milestones were achieved, including the completion of elevated guideway of Phase 1 for MRT Putrajaya Line. From Sungai Bulo to Kampung Batu. Detailed planning and preparation, to actual construction faces many challenges encountered, particularly the construction of the viaduct below the Middle Ring Road 2 at Kapong where careful execution and effective traffic management allow to work safely. The completion of the civil works of the elevated viaduct, is the most appreciable sign of the milestone achieved as far. The crown jewel of each stretch of the elevated alignment for Phase 1, were the completed elevated stations. A harmonious combination of forms and function, the new MRT Putrajaya elevated stations feature smaller construction footprint while maximizing wider experience and ensuring sustainability. Accessibility and ease of use, are the focus of a world-class amenity they are equipped with. Ensuring a comfortable journey for every passengers. The island platform model, were adapted for many of these new stations to facilitate easier track access and passenger transfer. 
This design features the added benefits of providing waiting passengers and unrestricted views of incoming trains, while also creating an aerial environment and feel. While civil works were been carried out, mechanical and electrical system works were also underway. System works include system migration, converting the main line tracks of MRT Line 1 between Quasa de Mansaram, Kampung Selamat, and Sungai Bulo stations, to become part of MRT Line 2, which will further boast its reach and connectivity. Its civil and structural construction is the main product of the project, while its mechanical and electrical works, the brain of the system plays the important role to run the automated system. The joining of 200-meter-long pieces of rail track, which will then welded together to form a continuous rail ensuring a smooth and a quiet journey for train passengers, and less maintenance works for the rail tracks. Areas where track rail works had been completed, begin track-related installation program for test runs. With the elevated viaduct completed, cable line works commence, which allow for the energization of the northern traction power system. Testing for the new Putrajaya line trains could then begin on the section of tracks that were ready. These includes various signaling works, as well as integrated testing of the automatic platform gates at completed elevated stations. Testing is also in full swing at the Operation Control Center, where critical system integration testing, in preparation for the launch of the Phase 1 of the projects is underway. The MRT SSP line underground works had also been making great strides forward, steadily conquering the complex geology of the Klang Valley. The integration of data analytics and drone technology into building information model and geographic information system by a cloud service, radically transformed the processes. Innovation continuous at heart of the progress, as even surveys has been reinvented with the use of drone captured images to develop hyper-realistic 3D site rendering. Providing a virtual bird's eye view of the project sites, these survey models make powerful validations tools when paired to building information modeling data. The project feature, BAMAR, an award-winning in-house design mobile augmented reality application for detecting collations and structural discrepancies has also been introduced in the field. The scan survey model data is stored in a cloud database, accessible by various party. At the core of the line tunneling works, is the tunnel boring machine, or TBM technology which refine and automated leading to the successful completion of all tunnel breakthrough. Engaging with innovative tunneling walks. Paving the way for smart technology tunneling, with the introduction of autonomous tunnel boring machine system. Proven to outperform human operators without compromising safety. All TMBs have integrated with an AI-driven system. This award-winning technology, is a world-first and can be plugged into existing TBM hardware to monitor machine data in real-time, and assume optimal control of various tunneling subsystem. The new MRT line technical parameters, will use automated and driverless conduction system, with track of 1435 mm standard gauge whose electric line will use 750 volt DC. This automated trains, are masterpieces of multinational collaboration and a testament of the growing skill and capabilities of local talents. Lighter, greener, more comfortable reliable and safer than ever. This train is designed to carry you into the future. Rolling stocks of MRT Putrajaya line will be provided by HAP Consortium, which consists of world-renowned rolling stock manufacturer, Hyundai Rotom of South Korea. Engineered in electrical and communication industries, Apex Communications, and the South Korean construction company, Hosco Engineering. The consortium was awarded $390 million contract to build and supply 49 of the four car trains, and the construction of Line Depot. The first two trains were built at Hyundai Rotom's plant in Changwon, Korea, while the rest will be assembled at Apex Communications' new plant in Rasa north of Kuala Lumpur using body shells, bogies and other major components from Korea. The design for the elevated stations is based on the traditional theme. Uniquely Malaysian. Each station will embody the iconic Serambi concept. A traditional resting shelter where people can meet, and gather. While retaining practical functionality as an efficient public transport facility. While each of the underground stations, will carry its own individual theme. The proposed designs range from preserving the rustic, reflecting tidal rhythm, promoting well-being, vibrancy, pulse of life, discovering culture, molding forms, inspired by nature to streamline flow. 
MMC Gamuda, the underground works package contractor for the MRT Putrajaya line, won two prestigious international awards for tunneling excellence. International Tunneling and Underground Space Associations, awarded the contractor for the major project of the year above 500 million euros, for the network of tunnels and underground stations for the Putrajaya line. The Putrajaya line project also bagged the International Project of the Year at the Ground Engineering Awards 2021 hosted in London by the official publication of the British Geotechnical Association since 1968. The MRT Line 2, will carry you to your destination, quickly, safely, conveniently, and efficiently. The constructions continue day and night, to construct Malaysia's largest urban rail network that connect more people to more area to the Klang Valley.